Mm, that's drunk. Licensed games are weird. Here we have a game based off of the movie An American Tale, Fievel Goes West. But uh, the movie was released in November 1991, while the game, only made for Super Nintendo, was released in August 1994. Huh, that's some weird timing. Why would Amblin Entertainment and Hudson Soft release a game nearly three years after the movie? Well, probably because they can, I guess. I mean, I can't think of any other reason. I remember seeing the movie in theaters as a kid, and I remember liking it, but I was already a snotty middle schooler by the time this game came out, so I completely skipped over it as I imagined imagined a lot of people did, because this game is extremely average. I mean, it's made for kids based off of a kids movie. This was never a game that was meant to set the world on fire or anything, but still, it's competently made and one of those games that you can easily beat in about 30 minutes the first time you pick it up. You get a health meter and three lives and three continues to get through five levels that are split up into two stages each. And the game pretty much follows the movie. The story takes place in the Old West of the late 1800s, and Fievel must save his family from the evil Cat R. Wall, who schemes to have cats and mice work together for a more prosperous future, but it's only an evil plan to arrange to have the mice eaten. Wow, that's dark. You start out in New York City before escaping enemy cats through the sewers, then you gotta find your family on the train, make your way across the desert before you finally head down the Green River for a final boss showdown. It's B to jump and Y to fire your pop gun, and that's it. No other buttons do anything. The gameplay does remind me a little bit of Mickey's Magical Quest, only that game is about a thousand times more interesting. There are a couple items you can get, like this item that turns your pop gun into a water pistol that can put out fires, but that's really the extent of it. Your typical video game goofiness is here in spades as well, like if you hit a cat twice in the face, he frickin' explodes? What the hell? The highlight of this game by far is the music. It is surprisingly really good. I mean, geez, that sounds like the opening theme to a 20 hour long RPG. I feel like I'm on an airship on my way to take down an evil empire or something. But yeah, An American Tale Fievel Goes West for Super Nintendo, it's as basic as it gets. I should mention that there was another game based on the movie, an adventure game made for DOS, but that's a completely different game. The Super Nintendo edition is clearly made for kids. It's just two buttons, run to the right and shoot stuff, and uh, make cats go boom, I guess. It's another one of those titles that's not bad, just really boring, especially if you're not the target audience. But for what it is, it's totally fine. Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day!